Welcome back to the Mountaintop, everybody. I'm Cody. Thank you so much for joining us today. I am so excited. I have had so many people in the comment section tell me about Buffalo Boar Ammo and how amazing it is, how superior it is to Hornady. And, I mean, I, I love Hornady. Hornady is some of my favorite ammo to shoot any, any day of the week out of any caliber. Um, so we have this Hornady 180 grain hollow point ammo, um, and we are going to be putting it up against some Buffalo Boar. I finally got my hands on some of this stuff. Um, and this is the 180 grain jacketed hollow point buffalo boar and it is insane how much these the hornady and the buffalo boar compare i mean if you look at that that's your buffalo boar right there and that's your hornady these are both 180 grains you can just see the difference in size nothing it's all the same they have a lot more power than hornady is what everybody says so we're here to put it to the test and so I put together three tests I think that are going to be really fun and really cool to see. So we have, we're going to shoot three watermelons with each caliber and we have 30 pounds of clay to shoot at. We're going to shoot it with Hornady first then we're going to remold it, shoot it with the Buffalo Boar and like I said that's 30 pounds of clay. It is going to be so cool to see how it performs in that. I think that's the thing I'm looking most forward to. And then we got some nacho cheese to finish it off. I think we're going to start with the clay though. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, guys, we got the Glock 20 Gen 4 10 millimeter. We are going to be starting out with the 180 grain Hornadies and we are popping off at the clay first. I'm so excited. I couldn't save that for last. So let's try it out and see what kind of ballistics we get. Like I said, this is the Hornady 180 grain XTP. Clay, anybody? Like I said, that was 30 pounds right there. It didn't even touch the third 10 pound block. This is just the jacket, that's it. Just a copper jacket, every bit of it's left. But if you look in here, you can see where little chunks of the lead core were coming out. I don't know if you can see that, the sun's hitting it pretty well. But there's a bunch of little chunks in here where that core was coming apart. You can see that little imprint down in there where the jacket stopped. And then you can see way down in there, here, hold on. There's a channel that goes all the way through and it stops right here where this lump is. And I mean, there's just barely anything holding it in there. And there is the rest of it. So, I mean, we found a good chunk of the leg core and then all that copper jacket. That is just awesome. And so that is, that was the Hornady. All right, guys, super excited. This is the Buffalo Boar. This is the first time I have ever shot some Buffalo Boar ammo. So I'm super excited to see how it performs. Um, if it's anything like that Hornady, I think we're in for a treat. So let's uh, load one in. Let's see how it does. I have clay molded to my toe. You, you guys were right. <laughs> the Hornady was just put to shame i am telling you that is crazy i got i got peppered by some it does not compare like i i did not you know i knew that buffalo board was going to perform like a little bit better I, I knew you guys knew what you were talking about but i did not think it was going to be this much different i mean you guys saw it on the slow-mo it just manhandled that first 10 pounds of clay i mean it just slapped it around and this guy actually, you know, came apart the way it was supposed to. It threw its pedals off and everything. And I'm just thoroughly impressed with how that just performed. Here's the one that it went into. And you can just see, I mean, it just did so much damage. And you, you can see it still had that spiral going down through there when, as it was opening up and shooting all this stuff off. It didn't make it as far, but I think it's it's because it came apart, spread out a lot faster. And there's all that's really left of your buffalo boar. That, that's freaking insane. Like I have to give credit where credit's due. 
it was it had a lot more thump behind it they look identical and on the outside you wouldn't know that they were any different but buffalo boar knows what the frick they're doing that was incredible how much different that was all right guys this is the hornady again and we've got three watermelons set up down there let's see what kind of damage we can do <laughs> that is just it's always so much fun i don't think the gopros like it or our mounts anything like it but it's a, it's just always a blast to shoot some watermelon it didn't stop in any of these smaller guys and it did tear up those first two but you know no use in digging in it and getting all dirty let's see what we can do with some buffalo boy all right guys we're back we got three watermelons set up this is the buffalo boar let's see what happens um i don't know here let's try that again We're going to set this guy here, slide this one up. Oh. Like it never happened. Nope. So, it went into this guy. It just absolutely annihilated the first one and then went into this one. And you can feel, I don't know if it bounced or if I hit low or what. Let's try it again. All right, the buffalo bore absolutely destroyed the first one i'm not sure if i hit low or what but we've got three halfway decent watermelons left we're going to try it one more time and maybe it just absolutely exploded on that first one and that was about it but let's try it again just to be sure it might have been me i just put it on there and pulled real quick so let's try slow down and see what we can do I think I shot low the first time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I got, got wet. <laughs> Holy bananas. Buffalo boar wins again. I just need to like slow down. I always like, I'm like, oh yeah, let's do this. And then I end up shooting low or shooting the table. And then people are like, you suck, dude. And it's like, you know, I do, but that's not the point. <laughs> Everybody has those bad days, all right? We're, you're gonna get those on them big jobs, right? So, I mean, this there, there's not much left of these. I mean, you guys have very quickly turned me into a buffalo bore man when it comes to this 10 millimeter. I mean, it is crazy how much better it performed when you when we actually put a solid shot on it, you know. <laughs> But with that being said, it's finale time. Let's do it. So we backed up a little bit for this one. This is the nacho cheese. We have got the Hornady ammo loaded up one last time. I've gotten a little bit dirty today. Let's hope I can keep the nacho cheese from getting on us from way back here. But let's see what we can do. Nacho Dang cheese. It. Dang it. Aw. <laughs> I mean, that's a pretty good sized hole. Ooh. 
all right guys this is the buffalo board we're back here this is the finale for the day um hopefully i can hit it on the first shot if not oh well let's see what we can do <laughs> do we really even need to say anything at all i mean look at that this is your hornady here on your left side and this is the buffalo boar and i mean it peeled the top of the can off of there i mean that is just crazy the difference i mean i thought that the hornady was impressive but man like that that's just that's crazy i cannot i'm lost for words man i am forever buffalo boar when it comes to 10 millimeters all right guys we have got a massive mess to clean up and we better get on it before we lose what little bit of daylight we do have left thank you so much for joining us again today guys i hope you had as much fun watching this as we did making it and thank you so much again for you to you guys you know who you are who turned me on buffalo boar and said it was just so much better than hornady i'm so glad that i got the opportunity to try this out thank you guys so much for pointing it out to me um you know whenever we can get our hand on some underwood ammo we're gonna put buffalo boar up against the underwood and I think it'll be a heck of a challenge putting them head to head. Um, so, you know, with that being said, thank you so much again for joining us. If you haven't already and you did like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, push the notification button so you know when we post again, and we'll see you next time.